Hi, this is Stefano Pando from Astro Vega. In this video, we will see what we could see on the Sun's surface with a small and affordable solar telescope. The telescope that produced these images and videos is the Lund Solar LS50TH Alpha, made by Lund Solar Systems, Arizona, USA. Although it's small size, it offers nice views with details on the surface of the sun due to its hydrogen alpha filter and when you turn the pressure tuner knob, it pushes oxygen onto the filter increasing contrast and details which punctuates the solar flares or prominence around the disk of the sun. So let me show you the specifications of this telescope before we go further. As we look at the features on the Sun's surface in the images and videos that I am about to show you, I will explain the science behind them, their origins, how and why they got there in the first place. Now let's begin with a brief description of our Sun. The Sun is an average yellow dwarf star, a G2V type in its spectral class, and a very massive hot and ancient star. It's made up of mostly hydrogen gas. The size of the Sun is more than 100 times the Earth's diameter. Its surface width is 1.5 million kilometers wide. It's also 300 times more massive than the Earth, as if millions of Earth would fit inside the Sun and it contains 2 octillion tons of gas. What's happening in the center of the Sun, which we call the core? Hydrogen fusion occurs, known as nuclear fusion, and as hydrogen fuses into helium, the pressure is about 260 million times the Earth's atmospheric pressure, and with a boiling temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius. The radiative and convective zones occupy the area in between the core and the surface. Heat rises from the core through the radiative zone, transferring it upwards then through the convective zone by columns of surging hot gases towards the surface. As we observe the granular texture of the surface of the Sun, the photosphere, otherwise called sphere of light, is a thinner cooler layer above the convective zone which appears as the shiniest materials on the granular surface. Sunspots are streams of plasma from the interior of the Sun that are charged and propulsed upwards away from the core caused by magnetic fields which reaches the surface of the Sun, spitting out plasma which loops back down onto the surface, losing its energy and heat from the cold vacuum of space, thus dimming its light and thus creating dark spots which we call sunspots. As you can see on the edge of the sunspots, there is a much more brighter contour caused by the magnetic field lines that are concentrated and heating up the plasma therefore producing those bright rings around the sunspots. This is called faculae, otherwise known as little torch. They actually account for the output of light diffusing from the sun. This loop that you see on the edge of the sun's surface is called a prominence. Plasma can flow into these magnetic loops creating huge arcs of possibly 100,000 kilometers across the Sun. Look at these solar flares from September 2016 event. This is caused by electromagnetic field lines that get tangled up and intensify to a certain breaking point which snaps and bursts out a load of plasma ejecting outwards from the surface into space and thus reaching out towards the planets. You can almost detect the corona, which is the thin atmospheric-like area above the surface and the hottest part of the sun, which merges into the solar wind. The solar wind are the particles that are moving away from the sun in all directions. Its average speed is approximately 1 million kilometers an hour or more. So there you have it. I find the Sun being one of the most attractive celestial bodies in our solar system to observe. It's a never-changing visual experience due to its solar activities from day to day.
I hope that you enjoyed this video. There will be more coming your way. You can leave a comment, like and share. And please subscribe to our channel. It will be much appreciated. Thank you. Bye for now. And clear skies to all.